So with our motor grader tire development project, we basically wanted to take them out on a grader and test them in a variety of different applications. You know, low speed grading, standard on a gravel road, or high speed grading in mud, doing some rough cutting and moving some dirt, and just seeing what traction is like, what the performance is like, if there's any hop, bounce, all that kind of thing. And so really we just want to do some general basic testing here. The team is beginning by observing performance during standard low-speed road grading at speeds between 2 and 4 miles per hour. During this test, they are watching the front tires of the grader as they are able to lean fully left and right, depending on the angle of cut the grader is attempting. The tire lean puts additional stress on one side of the tire rather than the other, which could potentially damage the tire or cause premature wear. So what we found was that at low speed, basically, you know, two, three mile an hour, the tires actually perform pretty well just for doing your standard grading. There's no hop, they got good traction, the machine performs as normal, and you're just, at this point, preventing a flat tire. So after going at lower speeds, we decided, hey, let's go a little bit faster and see what happens. Motor graders are notorious for having basically a bounce at higher speeds, which causes an issue. So we wanted to see if that was gonna happen with our tires or not as well. You were hopping on roading. It was rough. What was the, what's the pneumatics like in comparison? It's rough. But do they hop too or not? These do, my other tires don't. It was your fronts that were hopping. They're compressing and then they're bouncing. We might have to make those a little stiffer. Yeah, no, it was definitely, I could feel as soon as I took off. Yeah, I was trying to figure out as we're getting closer, like where it's coming from. Okay, so just keep doing the same thing? Yeah, just kind of watch and let me know. Okay. So after going higher speeds, we found that yes, our tire was bouncing as well. However, based on how it looks from the side of the machine and as we're riding, it actually seems like it's coming from the front tires only. Next, the team wants to try and see if the machine has the power to be able to tear the tires apart and cause a major failure. To do this, they will first build up a heavy amount of material in front of the blade of the grader. Then they will disengage the rear tires from propelling the machine. Once this is done, the operator will put full power to the front two tires while dragging a heavy cut. He will be twisting and turning the tires in every way possible to try and make the tires fail. With the torture test complete, it's time to go and try pulling a shoulder to test performance. The grader will need to articulate and we will be able to test traction. This is another common grader use. You said you had some shale? Well, there's a shale pit down, we could go down to the shale pit and if you really want to get in and 
rip around in a shale pit, then it's not as bad as a road. Like you tear up the road, you got to go fix it. And, but I could get in there and I could really torque into it if you want. But well, I think you jump in the cab with him as he's going and see what you think as you're driving, and then try some different speeds, and then we'll go tear some stuff up in the pit just to kind of see what traction or if there's any issues there, and then. Okay, we'll head down there then. This road's softer, you can tell. It's not as, yeah. you can't feel it, yeah. but that other, the gravel was hard and you could, you could feel it. I like how it's spaced out. Like, I definitely like that room around that hub yeah. for servicing and maintenance. They're running about like 15 degrees more hotter, so like they're, they're working more than the backs. I think the backs are fine. And the fronts, we gotta stiffen them up to make it not bounce so much. So as you saw, I was taking different heat readings with the heat gun in the tire. And basically what I saw was that the rear tires were colder than the front tires. What that tells me based on all the heat testing that we've done in the past on different sizes of tires and different applications is that the fronts are working harder than the rears. Now that's probably because what we think is going on with the bouncing is that that tire is moving a lot more and causing a lot more flex and a lot more kinetic energy within the tire. And so those heat results being hotter in the front than in the rear really kind of confirms our theory. Start freestyling, yeah. Kyle. Freestyle here. Here what we're going to do is actually take the grader into a shale quarry pit and just moves around some rough dirt. There's some you know sharp rocks in here. This is a pit that hasn't been used in a while. So we can also just kind of move some hills around and, and see what the traction is going to be like in a like loose rock shale condition. So the grader actually performs pretty well in the rough cutting application. You know, you're going low speed, it's an application where you need good traction, you're going to cut heavy dirt, move that kind of thing. With that in hand, we've basically got, you know, good performance at low speed, good performance at rough cutting, need to improve on that high speed. And so to do that, we said, let's take the grader back to the shop, change out the front tires for the pneumatics and then we can try and isolate the problem to see if it's really a problem with the front tires only, or if the rear tires are also helping contribute to that greater hop and see what to do next. The team has a suspicion that the front tires are what is leading to the bounce in the machine while driving. To create a test where they can isolate this issue to confirm if they are correct, they will remove the front two tires from the grader and reinstall the pneumatic tires. If the bouncing stops, then they know this is where they need to focus their efforts in developing the next tire design improvements. If there is no change, then they may need to start over from scratch with their design. And so now we have four of our tires in the rear and we have <coughs> the pneumatic on the front. And basically we're repeating some of the tests here just to kind of see. And basically like we're going like 25 mile an hour right now. So pretty much top, top speed for the machine. And I can tell you already, I'm not sitting in the cab, but I can tell you from back here, watching it, that the machine's a lot more stable, the fronts aren't hopping, so we gotta just do a little adaptation to our front tires. For this machine, in this application, we gotta look at something so that we can uh, control the front a little better. I can fix this, but if I don't know what it is, I can't fix it. So this is a good little test. That looked a lot better, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Way better? So with the rears, was it still bouncy or was it better? But way better than before. So then, so I'm interested now to see if we can go faster or whether it's the fronts that are up and when you're grading, but 
That looks like it. Like roading it, you weren't shaking like you were before. No, no, you can't make that. Okay. Well, we'll. Well, yeah, but if you put a little bit of air in your front tires, that might help too. <laughs> so after we swapped out and we ran the grader with the pneumatic tires on the front only and our tires on the four rear tires, we actually saw that, yeah, we could grade at a faster speed and that there was no hop or bounce once those front tires were changed out to the pneumatics. So that tells me that basically we need to focus on fixing those front tires. What we think is going on is that the tires are over compressing, which is leading to excessive hop and bounce. If we can stiffen that up a little bit and still maintain ride quality, then we could probably get rid of that greater hop as it goes higher speeds when it's grading. Send Justin the bill. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up this video. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, the subscribe, share, do all that good stuff so you can see more of our content. We got a lot of development process that's gonna happen with this project and we just want you to be a part of it.